Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, we officially start in about four minutes, but I wanted to go ahead and get started just with a, a little bit of a preview uh, and introduce myself and welcome you all to the live How to Tune channel. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. My name is Joe Wos. I am a professional cartoonist. I've been drawing since I was four years old. I've been drawing professionally since I was about 15 years old. So I've been doing this for a very, very long time, as you can tell from all this gray hair and the beard here. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of different drawings every day. This class will meet at 1 o'clock on weekdays uh, here on YouTube. Howtotune.com will take you right to the site. And uh, we're going to be doing lots of different kinds of drawings. So if you have requests for future classes or things you'd like to draw, you can put those in the comment. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, and yes, even TikTok. I'm on there too, drawing cartoons as well. And of course, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. Today, we're into a lot of different kinds of drawings, but before we get started, there's a couple things I need you to know. The first thing is, have fun. This is meant to be a fun class. It's a silly class. I want you to have a good time. Uh, I know a lot of you are home from school. Um, I've got teachers who are home from school. Kids are from home from school. And this is just something for us to do to keep us busy, also allow us to express our creativity and um, you know, really just stay used to that routine that we all have. So it's going to be lots of fun. Uh, I promise if you pay attention, follow along, you'll be amazed with what you can draw. Okay? You're all going to do just fine. You'll hear me say some things over and over. One of the things you're going to hear me say at the end of every drawing is sign your name, take pride in your work. You'll hear me say that every time because I want you to take pride in your work. And that you do that by signing your name and showing off your creations. Speaking of showing off your creations, if you are on social media, Instagram, Twitter, um, any of those, you can tag me. OK, at the end, I will write down my uh, I'm at Maze Tunes is the name of my that is my name across all social media. OK, so you can find me there. Um, and what do you say we get started? OK, everybody, uh, we're going to start off with a really easy one, but a really cute one that I like to start a lot of my classes with. And it's one you may have seen before. It's going to be a puppy dog. OK, everybody. So we're going to start with a puppy dog. And what I need you to do is grab yourself. A piece of paper okay a piece of paper and something to draw with now you can draw on an iPad too is fine as well okay but we're gonna start with just a paper and pen here we go I'm gonna break everything down into basic lines shapes numbers and things that you already know we're gonna start with the eyes the eyes are just a letter O okay so draw a letter O just like that. The other eye is a letter C backwards. So letter O, letter C. Okay. Next are the pupils. The pupils are just little dots like this in the eye. Now for the nose, we're going to take the letter P and knock it on its side. It looks just like this. And then I'm going to shade that in. Keep in mind the class is live, so while I can't type and respond to chat, I am monitoring any of your questions. So if you need me to slow down a little bit or there's something you have a question about related to the drawing, just go ahead and ask, okay? All right. From the middle center of the base of the nose, you're going to draw a stretched out letter U or a C that's been knocked on its side. Now for the corner of the mouth, 
I'm just going to draw a capital letter E. I have Jeffrey asking why class hasn't started. It has started. Uh, can everybody see what I'm drawing? Is there a re uh, some of you maybe might not tune in? It looks like I have 170 watching, so we should be okay. You may need to re-log back in there, Jeffrey, okay? All right. From here to here, a little line connecting. Now the lower lip and neck is just the number two that we're going to turn it on its side. Looks like this. Number two. Now my favorite part is to make the tongue sticking out. To make the tongue sticking out, you're just going to draw an upside down letter G. Okay, looks like everybody's tuned in and watching. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. I will slow down a little bit, Courtney. Absolutely. Okay. I'll stop there for a minute while everybody catches up. Uh, each video every day will last between anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes, so about one class period, depending on where you go to school. And I'm going to be doing these for, oh, for as long as everybody is stuck home from school, okay? They're free classes, and I hope you'll be here every day, Monday through Friday. On Saturdays, I'll do story times uh, for kids, okay? And I draw stories as I tell them. Now, from the quarter of the way over on this eye, right here, I'm going to come up, around, down, letter U. Stretch it out like that, okay? Excellent. I can't wait to see everybody's drawings, so please share them with me. I'm going to actually put uh, in my um, chat right here. At Maze Tunes, that's me. So you can find me on Instagram, um, every platform. All right. The other ear sticks up like that. Sabrina, that's one of the wonderful things about drawing is that everybody has their own style, their own technique, their own special way of drawing that makes you who you are. That's called your style. So everybody can draw the same thing the same way and everybody end up with something different. And most important, I don't want anybody to get frustrated. If you finish your drawing and you think to yourself, oh no, my drawing looks funny. It's supposed to look funny, it's a cartoon. The funnier it looks, the better. The eyebrows are equal signs. Now we're going to take this number two right here for the lower part of the deck, and we're going to turn that into a number five. So two becomes a five. Do you see the five? Now for the legs. Down, around. See, that's the bottom half of a five. And then up. Oh, I'm seeing all these wonderful requests. Um, please do make requests. You can also make requests on other social media. And if I don't draw them today, only because we have time for only a couple drawings, uh, I'm going to be doing these classes a long time. So I will get a chance to draw just about all these. And I will post some special lessons on the page as well, okay? All right, the other leg is right next to that. Down, around, connect. All right, next, the hind legs. That's the back legs. It's going to start out as one number and become a different number, okay? So we're going to start out with a two. So there's a two. Then we're going to take that two and turn it into a three.
All right. Now I just want you to draw a line from this leg to this leg. Okay? Just a short line right there. Now for the back. The back is a backwards letter S, just like that. Now a tail. The tail, out, in, connect. It's okay if you draw the legs a little bit off or even a lot off. It's a cartoon. It's okay if it looks silly. It's okay if it looks funny. Just have fun, okay? And you're drawing this for the first time. So if it doesn't look just right to you this time, draw it again another time. Each time you'll get a little bit better, okay? Now we're going to add the tail wagging. That's two little lines like that. If you have room. If you don't have room, don't worry about it. And then we're going to add paws. Paws are one, two, one, two. If you want to change the personality a little bit, you can add some eyelids to make them look a little chill. All right. Last and most important thing is this. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your puppy dog. All right, there's your puppy dog. Uh, I'm going to give you a chance to just look at that and take it in. Uh, I'd love to see them, so please share uh, with me on social media. Uh, that's our first drawing, the puppy dog. The next drawing is a little bit more complicated. We're going to draw a leprechaun, okay? We're going to draw a leprechaun since it's St. Patrick's Day. A little bit of de more detail to this one, so I'm going to go real slow, and we're going to take our time. First thing we need to do is take a new blank piece of paper. All right. There we go. And let's begin. Wonderful. Oh, I hope I have lots of people tuning in from uh, West Virginia. I had a wonderful time performing with their symphony orchestra. I perform with orchestras live. I illustrate the music uh, nationwide and, and I got to perform in West Virginia. All right. Here we go. We're going to start with uh, the nose, right towards the middle of the page, like this. Okay, so this is going to be a leprechaun if you're just joining us. We're starting with the nose right in the middle of the page. Next, we're going to draw the eyes. The eyes look like this. One, two. Notice that little bit of white space I left in between. Um, your paper can be situated two different ways. Uh, people sometimes call it portrait. Okay, I'm going to show you again. Some people call it portrait or landscape. Some call it vertical or horizontal. But in my classes, I like to call it hamburger and hot dog. For all my drawings, I usually draw it hamburger or up and down like this or vertical uh, or portrait uh, but you can draw it any way you want okay here we go uh, I think we're going to do a penguin next for anyone who's asking I have a lot of people asking about penguin here we go a letter U Right next, a line like that. Okay. Down and up for the bottom of the mouth. We see just a little bit of the tongue right there. 
and then we're going to shade this in about okay just shade in right around that there we go excellent okay now the ears around a letter C letter C dash dash guys are doing great can I talk a little bit louder is that uh, sorry I had the volume up but it may need to go up a little bit more let me see if I can adjust the volume on that a little bit more now I'll try and talk just a little bit louder okay all right next are the eyebrows one two just triangles, that's all they are. There's no such thing as a bad drawing, just a funny one. And they're supposed to look funny, so that's just fine. We're all learning together, so there's no wrong way to draw cartoons. Everybody looks different. I have one person that can't hear it at all. Can everybody else hear me? Please just give me one or two yeses if you can hear me, okay? I've got a line going across the top of the hat. Thank you, Tanya. I appreciate you telling me that. So if you can't hear, I think it's probably a, a, something on your own computer, okay? So you might want to try and adjust uh, the volume there. Thank you. All right, this is going to be the hat. Now, this is going to look really silly because it's going to look like he's wearing a hot dog bun on top of his head. Um, but we're going to fix that. It's going to end up looking like a hat. But to do that, all you do is draw a letter C, and it becomes a capital letter G. And then over and around like that. Thank you. Lots of yeses from people who can hear. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. All right. This is the hair sticking out the side. Out, zigzag, zigzag, and in. Okay. Doing great. Now we're going to start with the beard. We're going to come back to the hat, but I want to add the beard. Notice how I'm going back and forth. Back and forth with my marker. Or if you're using pencil, that's to add something called texture. Texture is how something looks like it feels if you touch it. Soft or, or scraggly or sharp or ways things can feel when you touch them. That's called texture. Now we're going to go back and finish the hat. Up, over, down. And then we have a line going across. I see someone requested panda. Yesterday was uh, International Panda Day. So I actually drew a panda yesterday, but we'll see what we have time for today. Um, our next drawing after this is going to be a penguin. So, Do I usually color my cartoons? No, I usually don't. Not the ones I draw by hand. Uh, I usually color my drawings. Uh, I have to. I have a syndicated feature that appears in newspapers all over the country, and those have to be in color. And then also my books uh, have to be in color as well. Okay. And then we've got a little buckle on the hat. To do that, you just put a line down and then a square with two lines like that. That gives us the hat. Yes, we're drawing a leprechaun today or for this part of the class. And don't worry if you missed it. You can, uh, after this class is over, I will post all my videos. Um, but also, the class is still going on. We've got plenty of time left. We're going to do at least two or three more drawings. So uh, if you missed this one, don't worry. You can catch up or you can uh, draw in the next one, okay? All right. Now, we've got a bow tie. Bow ties are fun because you just draw a square 
That's easy. And then a shape like this with a line down the middle. We are going to draw the body. We're going to draw the whole thing. This one takes a lot of time because there's a lot of detail. Okay, so you have to be very, very patient. But everyone is doing great. I've been a cartoonist since I was, I've been drawing since I was four years old. But I started drawing, um, so I started drawing when I was four. I started drawing professionally when I was 14. So about the age of probably me of our uh, viewers today. Now, for the lapel, we come up, in, out, up. Okay, so it's just the letter V. Guys are all doing great. As long as you're trying your best, you are doing fantastic. So I cannot wait to see all your drawings. I hope some of you will post these on your social media for me to see. Okay. Down, up, out, in, just like that. I never look at anything when I draw. I don't have any source material. I just make it up as I go along is exactly what I do. Now we see a little bit of the vest. Just a letter V and then an upside down letter V. Okay, that shows us a little bit of a vest. Next are the arms. Okay, the arms look like this. Out, down, in. Out, down, in. Notice I'm leaving a little bit of a gap there because I have to draw the rest of that. Rhonda, I did see that and I am... Um, thank you for pointing that out. If anybody receives any messages that they think appropriate or anything like that, just let me know. I do pause, um, so it may not be that it's frozen. It's just a pause while I wait for people to catch up and also to make sure I'm monitoring the chat as we go and answering your questions, okay? So if you think it's frozen, it may not be. Um, it may just be uh, an extended pause, okay? Yeah, thank you. I did. I did pause for a second while I um, deleted someone from the chat. Okay, so we should have the arms and the sleeves. Okay. I see a lot of people asking for characters like Sonic or Mickey Mouse or stuff like that. Um, I just want to let you know that a lot, all the characters I draw are characters that we create together. There are characters. We share these. Um, I don't draw... Uh, characters that belong to someone else. So I don't draw Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck or Sonic because those belong to someone else. For kids, I say it's like if I took your shoes and went around wearing them. They're not mine, so I shouldn't take them, and they wouldn't fit. So those characters aren't mine, so I shouldn't take them, and they wouldn't fit what I do. Thank you for asking, though. All right, we've got one, two, three fingers. That's how we show a little trick for how we draw something holding something. See? Okay, and in his hand, he's just holding a, a, a wooden cane. Okay, it looks like this. That's a little tricky, I know. All right, and then
And then on that cane, you just add a little bit of texture, just lightly with your pencil or marker, just a couple lines to make it look like a wooden texture. The other hand, thumb, one, two, three, and in, four fingers. Somebody asked what inspired me to start this channel. Well, I've been teaching cartooning my whole life, and I normally travel all over the country performing at schools and festivals and comic conventions, and sadly, uh, a lot of my work uh, canceled um, due to the, the scare over the virus. So I realized there were a lot of kids home from school with nothing to do, and I thought, well, maybe they'd like to learn to draw. So down, over, arch, over, and up. Okay, now uh, for the boots, we come down, over, up, around, and up. Okay, almost done with this. Down, over, up, around, and up. And then lastly, I would shape. We're going to finish this one up, and then our next drawing is actually going to be one of your requests which is a penguin. I've had a couple people ask for a penguin. And if I don't get your request, um, don't worry. I, I'm going to be doing this every single day, uh, every weekday. And on Saturdays, I'm going to do drawing story times where I draw stories as I tell them. But I do this every day. And then on Facebook, uh, I also do quick draw sessions. You can join me for those as well. Rainbow Cupcake, yours doesn't look horrible at all. There's no way it could look horrible because you did your very best and I'm sure it looks wonderful. And that's how we learn because we're going to constantly get better the more you draw something, okay? I promise you're going to make lots of wonderful drawings, okay? All right. We're going to sign our names. Take pride in your work, okay? There we go. All right, here we go. We are going to start with our next one, which is a penguin. So you should be finished with your leprechaun. Nice work, everybody. Please share them online. I can't wait to see them all. And we're going to draw a penguin. So you'll see me reaching for the paper here. There we go. All right. Blank piece of paper. And let's begin with our next drawing, a penguin. Uh, we're going to start with the eyes. I almost always start with the eyes. And I'm going to tell you why. We've got a circle. Let her see backwards. The reason I start with the eyes first is because you're meeting someone for the very first time. You're making a new friend. And when you meet someone new, you always want to look them in the eyes. So that's what we're doing. We're looking them right in the eyes. Amanda, uh, a dinosaur, we're going to actually do a whole day of nothing but dinosaur drawings, um, probably later this week. So I, it is similar to a Sharpie because it's a black felt tip, um, but it's actually by a company called Zebra. It's the PM701. And um, what I'm going to do is I use this pen because it's a nice, thick marker. Okay. All right. Next is the beak. Come out, point, and up. And again, with all my classes, you're welcome to come and go, please. You don't have to stay for all the drawings. You could always come back and see the video later, too. Some of that lag isn't actually lag. It's just me pausing to make sure everybody can catch up and everybody can draw. What I'm going to try and do is uh, make sure I'm moving my hands every now and then so that you know it hasn't stopped, okay? Um, we do have a little bit of lag just because we've got so many people tuning in. 
So I'll work on that as uh, we continue classes. All right. I've got a little dash here. And then out, up, like that. We will probably have time for uh, two more drawings after this. All right. And then starting a little bit up higher, we come down, up around and connect okay now from the tip to the eye I've got a little line going just like that that's adding some depth and dimension okay some depth and dimension to that all right uh, and I do see we're getting a little bit of lag here and there. And I apologize for that. This is a brand new system for me to try out. So um, we'll work on that. Don't worry for the next class. All right. Now I want you to picture in your head a bowling pin. We're not going to draw a bowling pin. But if you have that shape in mind, it'll make it a little bit easier to do the drawing. Okay? All right. Bowling pin shape. What you want to do. You want to come up, around, letter S, and then back in. Okay? It does look like a duck right now. It's one of the things that's neat about cartooning is when you learn how to draw one thing, you're really learning how to draw hundreds of things. So this face still works for a duck and other animals too. Okay? All right. From the base of the jaw right here, down, around, out, and up. So there's that sort of bowling pin shape. All right. Um, next is feet one two All right the other wing just goes out this side like that Next is going to be the interior design inside of the penguin. Okay, that's the inside of the penguin. Here we go like this. We have a letter V and then just a stretched out backwards number three. Okay. It's okay if you drew a skinny penguin, a fat penguin, short penguin, tall penguin. Any way you draw it, that's just fine. It's your drawing, not mine. Uh, I see a lot of requests coming in, and thank you so much. But do me a favor. You only need to make the request once or twice. What I'm going to do is at the end of this, I'm going to go back and look what the most popular requests are, and then I'll be able to draw those in future classes. I don't want to have to block anybody, okay? So please just request it once or twice, and I'll see it. And don't worry. If we don't do it today, I promise you we will draw it on another day of the class, okay? All right. The last thing you would do with a penguin is just sort of shade in all of this. Now you can color it in with a lot of detail or you can just sort of scribbly shade it in and it can be any color you want. If you have some crayons, you can color your penguin purple or blue or anything at all. It's entirely up to you. Yes, we'll actually, Colin, we'll spend a whole day uh, drawing characters from Australia. And we'll draw a koala, a kangaroo, uh, and then, of course, my favorite, the platypus. So uh, every day we're going to try and do different themes, okay? So we'll try and do some different themes as well. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your uh, penguin.
I'm going to add two little lines on strong too, just add a little bit of depth like that. Okay? Very good, everybody. All right. Um, we have time for maybe one or two more. Let's see. Um, I had a lot of requests for, we had a lot of requests for Penguin. Um, oh, I have a really fun one I'd like to do with you um, that I actually do in a lot of my classes. And it's a how to draw using some letters in the alphabet. Okay, so let's take a blank piece of paper. All right, let's see. Yes, these are every single day, Monday through Friday at 1 o'clock. I will try and do them every day. Okay, here we go. Uh, this one is, oh, well, I'm going to let you find out what it is. We're going to put some letters at the top of the page, okay? The first letter is A. Let's put a letter A at the top of your page. Next, J. E. Q. I. O. V. M. G, a period, and a dash. Okay, now I'm going to ask, does anybody know what that spells? All right, now I'm going to give you a hint. It is a very popular animal. Now I'm going to give you another hint. Ready? The letters are scrambled at Big Stop. If you unscramble the letters, it makes the animal. Okay, anybody want to guess? I see some guesses coming in. All right, I'm going to tell you what that spells. That spells rabbit. See, you are used to writing words. I'm going to show you how to draw a word. Watch, listen, learn, do as I do. You'll be able to draw a rabbit too. Watch and listen to the story. Once upon a tune, there was an animal. Animal begins with letter A in the middle of your page. Not too big, not too small. Just put a capital letter A. This particular animal loved to jump. Jump begins with J. So put a J under the A to make an umbrella because it liked to jump in the rain. It liked to jump forwards and it liked to jump backwards. So I put the letter J backwards. It liked to jump everywhere. Everywhere begins with the letter E. like to jump everywhere and like to jump every day which also begins with e it liked to jump under under begins with u so i put a u under the j's it liked to jump in in begins i put an i in the u it could even do the 100-yard dash. Now, if something likes to jump under, it might like to jump over. Over begins with O. So we take an O and put it over and to the left of the A. If something likes to jump in, it might like to jump out. Out begins O, put an O out here. And it would never, ever stop, period. And a period here. Now, this particular rabbit had very, letter V, very, letter V again, very, very messy hair. In fact, he was a messy hair. Messy begins with M. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the letter M over and over until it turns into a messy scribble, okay? Don't be neat, be messy. It looks like this. Letter M, letter M, 
scribble, scribble, scribble. Okay. Now, it wouldn't be a say that this rabbit was great. Great begins with G, and I said stretch. So we're going to take the letter G and stretch it. Long ears, short ears, fat ears, skinny ears, any way you draw it, that's just fine. It's your rabbit, not mine. Okay? Stretch those ears out. Don't matter. Funny the ear, Funnier they look, the better. All right. And everyone loved this rabbit. Everyone begins with? Now, the reason everyone loved this rabbit was because this rabbit was so good. Letter G backwards. To everyone, letter E backwards. Okay. Rabbit had a very fuzzy face. It looked like this. And very, letter V, very long whiskers. And O. What a good letter G and great letter G backwards rabbit he was. And then I just add some polka dots for the bow tie. And what's the last part? Sign your name. Take pride in your work. Okay. There we go. There's your rabbit. Nicely done, everybody. Uh, I'm going to ask that everybody be very respectful in this chat. Um, it's one of the reasons I have chat open is so I can see your suggestions and requests. Um, but if I have to block too many people or um, treat it just like you would a regular class, um, be respectful of everybody, support everybody. Everybody here is trying their very best, okay? So I just want to encourage all of you. You all do wonderful work. On Saturdays, uh, I will be doing um, story times where I draw the stories I tell them. So it's a little bit different, but it is similar to this kind of thing, but it's lots of drawings. OK. All right, everybody. We have time for one more. And uh, I, I've had a lot of requests for a giraffe. So we're going to finish up today with a giraffe. I will be back tomorrow with more drawings. Uh, we'll have a theme for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the first start of sort of the official class starting. And let's go with a giraffe to end things, okay? And this will be our last drawing for this class today. Um, I'll have a little bit of information about social media. EB shells, we're drawing a giraffe, okay? Um, I see some requests for tiger, and I've had kangaroo. Don't worry, we're going to do lots of other drawings all week long for at least a couple weeks. I know you're all home from school, uh, adults, or maybe home from work. Uh, don't worry, we'll get a chance to everybody to draw and learn, okay? Here we go. Dragon tomorrow. Yes, absolutely, we'll do a dragon tomorrow. Let's start with our giraffe. You want to start high up on your page for this, okay? High up on your page. Oval, let her see backwards. A lot of our characters have these kinds of eyes right now. I'm glad you like the bow tie and the bunny. I like that too. Oh, I draw a really cute bat. Uh, I, we will draw a bat at some point for sure. Okay, and there's the pupils. Hedgehog, yes, I promise this week we'll get to a hedgehog. All right. Down, up. Out, up, okay? That's gonna be the snout. 
Uh, I see the request for dragons, turtles. Don't worry. All these animals we're going to draw. We're going to be doing this class for many, many weeks. So every day, different ones. Uh, we'll do one day where it's just farm animals. We have another day that is just under the sea uh, creatures. So something different every day. I'll try and post ahead of time what they're going to be. Out. Point. Up. Okay. Now for the teeth. Just a line down and a line over. Uh, I have someone ask, can I do, we do a Mythical Creatures Day? Absolutely, we will do a Mythical Creatures Day. Yes, where we'll do unicorns and all kinds of interesting, and even living potatoes. I did do a crab yesterday, that's right. Okay, from here, over, and around like that. So it's sort of a question mark on its side. And I, I am, uh, <laughs> you'll notice it may look a little ridiculous that I've started tapping my finger. Um, I'm doing that just so you're, you know that your video isn't frozen, okay? Um, there is a little bit of lag here and there because we're just uh, trying out a new system and there's a lot of people watching, which I'm delighted by, okay? All right. Um, just some scribbly hair on top of the head. I will do a day where we'll draw robots and aliens. I'll try and list a schedule um, a day or two ahead of time. Narwhal on Under the Sea Day, yes. There's the ear. You come out, point back in, out, point back in. Don't worry if your video freezes. You can go back and watch this. I will post it after the class is over. I've got, yeah, I've got about three, 385 people watching right now. Uh, so it's a lot of people watching. So um, here we go. Okay. I'm in Pennsylvania too. So yes, I'm a teacher. So as well as a cartoonist. All right, now for the long neck. Now, you don't want it too, too long because we don't want it. We need to have room for the body at the bottom, but the body's going to be short. So it's one line down, two lines down. There's a slight curve at the bottom of this line, okay? Slight curve at the bottom of the line. And thank you so much for those who are enjoying this or... or um, sending some wonderful compliments of how, about how good my drawings are. Thank you. Um, all of your drawings are wonderful. You're all doing such a great job. And I can't wait to see these uh, on social media. I hope you will post, post it, okay? Thank you, everyone. All right, a little bit tricky here. We're going to come around, down, and stop. Now, that's going to form the back leg. So we want to make sure the front leg matches the back Front leg's going to come down to there. See the length has to match. Okay, so this has to match this, the same length. All right. And uh, Jeffrey, that's a great way to draw is to do a pencil first and then outline it later. Uh, someone asked for a corgi. I do an entire day of dogs and cats. So just keep tuning in every day, uh, different themes, okay? And make sure you're subscribing to follow along because I'll be posting some bonus classes as well. I come up, over, down. All right. And then I'm going to match this. So I've got another leg here and another leg here. I've had a couple requests for dolphins. We're going to do a whole under the sea day. Uh, probably later this week, probably by Friday. Okay. Here we go. Sort of a triangle for the hooves. 
those are the bottom of the feet. Yes, of course, the giraffe will absolutely have spots. It's all step by step, so we got to take our time. And then when we're all done, the drawing makes sense. And yes, we will definitely be drawing sharks, one of my favorite things to draw. Now notice the back and forth on the pencil or marker, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then shade that in, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like that. And today we're learning how to draw specific things, but we'll also talk a little bit about what goes into creating characters as well and how to tell stories through our drawing. So there's going to be a lot of things we cover in this class over the next, oh, probably at least a few weeks, but i got a feeling maybe some months. But I'm going to do this as long as people are interested in it, okay? And you can check out lots of other videos I've already posted to learn how to draw some other things. So the spots are just sort of the letter C, and let her see backwards. And then you want to go back and you want to shade those in. Okay, that's important to shade those in. There we go, shade that in. Each of the spots, color them in. And it's your giraffe. So you can make these pink and purple polka dots if you want to, because it's your drawing. There's no wrong way to draw it and no wrong way to color it. It's yours. There's no wrong way to do cartoons, okay? Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy my art style. I try and make it very accessible so that it's something kids and adults can copy and imitate and learn from. Charlie asking permission just like it's regular class. You can, but we're almost done with the drawing. Almost done. I got a little bit of shading on the hooves. And then I've got the tail. Somebody asked, is it a horse? It is a long neck spotted horse. Yes, absolutely. I've got another other ear sticking back here. Now I give it a little bit of personality. We can um, sort of add some eyelids and eyebrows, but you don't have to. And then I'm just adding a little bit of the ground here. And then how do we end every drawing? We end every drawing by sign your name, take pride in your work. I'm going to leave this drawing up for uh, just a second or two for you to finish. Okay. So everybody, I'll let you finish your drawing. That is our final drawing for the day. I went a little over on my time. Class time is usually about 45 minutes, okay? Um, I will be back tomorrow with a brand new class. Please make sure you subscribe. I hope you will tune in again. You can find me online at maztunes.com. That's one word. I'm trying to type it in. There we go, maztunes.com. Social media, maztunes. And for our teenagers and adults watching on TikTok, and it's all my all my stuff is family friendly, no matter where you uh, view it. Um, but I know some of the younger kids are not allowed on TikTok, and that's okay. Uh, but on TikTok, I am Quick Draw Tunes, and on everything else, Maze Tunes. Okay, so that's on social media all across the board. I will be back tomorrow. Please send me your kids' drawings. Yes, absolutely. Post them on social media. If you follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, anywhere you follow me, uh, I will go to these and look for suggestions. And I will be back tomorrow.